Good morning, Mom Petit, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to the first video in April. Can you believe that we are already into April? I just can't believe how fast the year is going. Spring is well and truly spring, and actually, as you're watching this, it will be the bank holiday Monday after the Easter weekend, so I hope you had the loveliest Easter weekend. Let me know what you got up to. If you've got access to the comment section, comment down below. Let me know how you spent the long weekend. Fingers crossed for good weather this weekend. Let me know how it's been. I feel like it's almost like I'm talking to you in the future because you will have known how the weather was this Easter weekend. I'm I'm keeping every finger and toe crossed for a lovely sunny weekend because I feel like sometimes during Easter, even though it's like earlier this year, even when it's early, sometimes we can have beautiful sunshine and a lovely spring weekend, especially for like a long weekend. All you want is a little bit of sunshine and to really feel those spring vibes. And I feel like despite the fact that it is chilly today, I'm wanting to incorporate those spring vibes. I just wanted to do a little bit of like a white roll neck. So I really want to start wearing lighter, brighter colors. I feel like I'm ready for the spring tones. Although, I am feeling a bit half dressed this morning. I don't know if anyone else gets this before you put your jewelry on. You feel like you haven't completed your outfit and you're not fully ready yet for the day. But I haven't put my jewelry on yet today because I have a new unboxing to share with you guys from a jewelry brand that I recently discovered and have fallen in love with, Linear. Now, Linear is a female found jewelry brand, which I just absolutely love because I feel like female led, female founded, female empowered. And you know that they're like a female brand because all of their jewelry pieces, you're like, yes, I just, I know how I'm going to wear that. I know how I'm going to style that. That is beautiful. And what I love about Linear is that their jewelry is not only luxe, but it's also sustainable, which is honestly just amazing whenever you're making like new purchases and all of their pieces are such a fair price. The amount of times I found beautiful jewelry online and I look at the price, I can just think, oh what my goodness, it meets. This would just be so beautiful with regards to gifts. This would be beautiful wedding jewelry. And I feel like as we're coming into a new month, new month, new spring jewelry styling. So I'm so excited to be working with Linya on this video to share with you a few new pieces. So I thought we could unbox the bits together. Can we also just appreciate this packaging? We've got the beautiful pink and the beautiful navy blue, which if you know me, literally my favorite color combo at the moment. I'm so obsessed with navy blue. So I've kind of actually picked up these pieces with a little bit of like a kind of combination in mind. So that's my favorite thing to do at the moment is to keep my jewelry quite stripped back, quite simple, but not boring. Like I want it just to look really paired together. I want it to look really stylized and curated, but still be comfortable to wear. That's actually my biggest thing at the moment is I'm not wearing jewelry that is not comfortable. I want the jewelry to be comfortable. I want it to be beautiful. And you know how much I love a matchy matchy moment. So one of the reasons that I love their jewelry pieces, their pieces are actually sterling silver with a really thick layer of 22 karat gold for me, which I feel like is just so important to have because it means that they're going to last such a long time. I feel like we're all over that kind of like fast fashion jewelry type. We want pieces that are going to really last in our wardrobe and there's nothing more special than a heritage piece of jewelry. I feel like these items are the kind that I can keep in my collection for such a long time. I can pass on to my daughter. Maybe she can pass on to her granddaughter, which I think is so, so special. So the first piece that I am in love with is this necklace. I mean, look at how beautiful that is with the mother of pearl on the inside oh my goodness me i can't tell you how lightweight this is as well considering how thick the gold vermeil is it feels super lightweight which as i said is going to make it super comfortable to wear which is just the most important thing for me and oh my word especially pair with like a little roll neck like this how stunning does that look i just love how simple it is it's so understated this is the kind of thing that i can literally imagine like my grandmother having worn it's the kind of thing that doesn't date it's not trend led jewelry it's just beautiful timeless classic pieces linear is a norwegian brand and i feel like that kind of like norwegian understatement of their pieces really shines through in the items and this necklace oh my word, I feel like this is going to be something I wear so, so much. I feel like that's going to be beautiful in summer. I love the fact that you've got the different lengths as well. So if you want it a little bit shorter, you can wear it more kind of like up here. I might actually shorten it just by one. Oh yeah, that looks beautiful. I feel like that just sits so, so perfectly with this roll neck, but it's going to style so well with my more kind of like summery pieces as well. I wear a lot of v-necks in the summer v-neck dresses. I feel like that's just going to sit so beautifully with so many of my summer pieces. So as I said, we've got a bit of a matchy, matchy moment with these pieces because I I'm just loving matching jewelry and I'm loving being able to pair these all together. So the next piece I picked up is a ring. And when I saw this ring, I almost squealed. I just fell 
in love with it. I mean, look at how beautiful that is. Again, so understated. It's almost giving me like 1920s vibes in the best way possible. It is so, so gorgeous. And obviously it's got like the size chart on there so you can pick the exact size for you. And I just thought this was so gorgeous. It's not like anything I have in my jewelry collection, which is what excited me so, so much about these pieces. They're so unique. Yeah, as I said, timeless. They're classic. They're the kind of thing that I know I harp on about all the time. But ageless jewellery. I know I talk about ageless fashion all the time, but ageless jewellery. The kind of jewellery pieces that I can wear any age, no matter what stage in life I'm at, I can wear now in my 20s and I'd be happy to wear my 30s, my 40s, my 50s, my 60s. I love that. And obviously because of the gold for me, because it's super thick, they're going to last such a long time. So how gorgeous do these look together? And wait until you see the earrings that I've got to match with them as well. I feel like statement earrings have just been such a huge trend in 2024. But what I love about these is it's kind of like following the trend but in a really timeless and classic way. If you look at these earrings, they don't look like a 2024 purchase. Do you know what I mean? They literally look like they've been passed down from your grandmother. They are so, so stunning. And the way that they pair with the necklace, with the ring... I cannot get over this combo. I am so in love with how they look. And as I said, I feel like they're gonna start so beautifully for spring and summer. I feel like these are gonna be the kind of pieces I reach for time and time again. And they're the kind that I feel like, even though they are a bit more of a statement, they're quite an understated statement, which is the biggest oxymoron I can possibly say. But I feel like you get what I mean. Like they're not in your face, they're timeless, they're demure, they're classic, they are just beautiful and really excitingly i actually have a discount code to share with you guys for linea if you do want to get your hands on some beautiful timeless classic jewelry from a sustainable jewelry brand at its core which is just so so important i will leave the discount code on screen here i will also leave it linked down below in the description box along with all of the info and all of the pieces that i am wearing if you want to shop these exact pieces but it's so exciting to be able to shop them at a discount i love being able to give you guys a discount code because these pieces pieces are so so beautiful so to be able to shop them at a little bit of a discount is so exciting oh my goodness i've just spotted at the bottom of the box it's actually like a little note to the customer which i just think is so so lovely it just makes it feel so much more personal from the brand so i'm going to read this out to you because i think this is really lovely so it says dear customer we started our studio in 2014 which means they've been around for 10 years now and what they've done in 10 years is just in Incredible. So we started in 2014 because we wanted to make it easier for people to invest in beautiful, well-made things. We've traveled the world over to bring you the best from our collective experiences, design influences from Roman's native Norway, gorgeous leather from Italy, top-notch watch movements from Switzerland, and the finest craftsmanship we found around the world. Our brand had humble beginnings and we owe so much to our customers like you for helping us to continue to do what we love. So here's to you. Thank you for choosing Linear. We hope that our products serve you well for years to come. That is honestly so, so lovely from Jennifer Chong and Roman Khan, the co-founders and designers. That is honestly just the sweetest little touch. I feel like it makes it so, so personal. And I also love the fact that you've got these pouches. You can keep these actually. They're great when it comes to like travel and things like that, especially this blue one actually has a little popper at the back. So if you're going somewhere just overnight and you want to take a couple of like spare pieces with you, I will always keep these and use them for traveling. How beautiful are they? So whether you're looking for a gift for someone, whether you're looking to treat yourself, make sure to use my discount code to shop linear jewelry but my goodness me i am just obsessed i just think they're the most beautiful to timeless designs and i'm so excited to have added these into my jewelry collection this spring i honestly just cannot stop staring at this ring i don't know if you got a good enough look at it before but how beautiful is the detailing to it it's just so timeless and classic obviously you could wear it on your wedding finger if you wanted to as well but I chose my middle finger because I just wanted it to be a bit more of a statement. And one thing I do love about the Linear Jewellery is how dainty the actual gold vermeil is. Like, I thought it was going to actually end up being quite thick, but it's so dainty. It's so elegant. And as someone who is a petite girl, you know that's what I look for in my jewellery. So I just wanted to show you that a little bit more up close because... It's one of the most beautiful rings I think I've ever laid my eyes on and I cannot wait to style it more in spring. So speaking of spring styling, I have actually been doing a little bit of shopping that I wanted to share with you because speaking of like this jumper and what I'm kind of wearing today, we're in such a difficult styling period. I would actually argue that this time of year is one of the hardest times of years to dress because it's still quite chilly. Here in the UK at least, it's still quite chilly 
but I really want to start incorporating some more kind of like spring vibes into my wardrobe. Some more transitional pieces, I think is the best way to say. Pieces that you can style up with like layers underneath that you can layer over the top that maybe have more of like a spring color palette, but can take you from now into the warmer months. So I've been doing a little bit of shopping at Goelier, which actually I do also have a discount code for Goelier as well. This is the vlog of the discount codes. If you use EM10, you can get an extra 10% off, which can be used with other discount codes as well, which I do think is amazing. I might even end up using my own discount code to do a new order, but I thought I would show you what I've been picking up. We can style it up together. because I do feel like these pieces are just perfect for the transitional period of taking you from winter into spring. First up is a piece that I feel like I cannot get enough of at the moment and that is this kind of cropped cardigan jacket style. I don't even know what this is officially called. I'm just going to call this a little striped knit cardigan. That is the kind of phrase that I feel like describes this in the best way possible but these kind of like cardigan jackets that you can layer up and style up so easily especially with a top like this. I feel like they just work so so well together and as a shorter girl I feel like I found my vibe with regards to kind of layering i used to always try and make blazers work and i just think i'm too small for blazers i'm too short they don't work on me the oversized looks too oversized the undersized looks like i'm wearing school uniform these on the other hand are the perfect piece to layer up at this time of year they add that little extra layer of warmth but i just find them so feminine i find them so easy to start they go with jackets they go with tops they go with dresses they go with trousers i feel like they can be styled up with everything and of course at springtime, there is nothing more classic than a lovely stripe. It is so Parisian, it is so chic, and it is so ageless. This is another ageless piece that I can't wait to add into my wardrobe that I can so picture myself wearing in like 20, 30, 40 years at time. Coelia's pieces are such high quality as well. This has got a wool mix in it, so it feels really nice and warm, which is perfect for this time of year when you kind of want to give off spring vibes, you still want to have some nice cozy layers so i'm so excited to be adding this into my wardrobe okay you'll have to excuse my outfit of the day this is just the look that i'm wearing today because i've got a cozy day at home today i am actually heading out for the evening but for the time being i just wanted to be nice and comfortable i've just got the little um roll neck on a pair of wide leg just cozy trousers but this is kind of what i love about these cardigans is i feel like they go with everything i've just popped it over the top of literally what i was wearing and i was like you know what this elevates the outfit this actually looks really really cute and i feel like it works really well together but again you can style up these cardigans really like formally you can style them up so in a much more elevated way with more of like a bodycon dress with like a big skirt i feel like it's just so many options i really love the fact that it's a little bit more cropped i find as a shorter girl that's a lot more flattering on me i have a really short torso and so i think that was my problem with blazers they just came down too long they were covering my legs too much it just wasn't really a vibe whereas like this i love how it looks another thing i love about this cardigan actually is the buttons aren't really buttons i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it it's actually got a little hook and eye which i really like so you've got no risk of these like falling off or like ruining them or everything the gold buttons are beautiful and look how well it pairs with the necklace oh my goodness me i love that just poking out underneath this to me is giving like rich auntie vibes and i love that but in like the comfiest way possible i'm literally wearing like these are basically considered loungewear and yet it's still giving that like elevated look like this to me is that like rich auntie that you go and visit who always looks super Super comfy, super well dressed. That is kind of the vibe that I feel like we are emulating with the jewellery and the cardigan and the outfit. I am absolutely in love. It's actually quite a similar piece to what I'm already wearing, but I feel like this is a bit of an upgrade of what I currently have on at the most beautiful wool jumper to add into my wardrobe. As I said, it very much still is chilly and I feel like it's very much still roll neck season, but I'm wanting to bring in those lighter tones, those kind of like more tonal colors. And this is just beautiful. It is so soft. It is so cozy and it's a little bit more creamy than what I'm wearing. And I do feel like if you're like me and you have a tonal wardrobe, the different tones between like the whites and the creams in your wardrobe is actually so important. I wore this top with a more creamy skirt the other day and you can see the color difference. Like it is so glaringly obvious and I feel like this would have gone so much better. So again, start up with those cardigans, start up with skirts, like slip skirts would be beautiful. And even just like your normal trousers or jeans, this is such a like simple piece to add into your wardrobe, but is so simple but 
is so timeless and classic when it comes to spring styling. So I do feel like this has been missing from my wardrobe, this more kind of like creamy roll neck with the most beautiful, soft, cozy material. I am just in love. Again, I'm just putting on this jumper with the trousers I already had on, but it kind of works. Like again, for that really like cozy, casual, comfy vibe, elevated, but super, super comfy. And just look at the style of this jumper. The way that it fits is so beautiful. I've just pulled up the sleeves to kind of give it more of like a worn in vibe and my favorite thing about it is the fact that it's a mock turtleneck you don't get claustrophobic from this you don't have to roll it down or anything like that like it doesn't come up too high to your neck it's just super flattering and actually again the jewelry pairs so well with it i wasn't even planning on it when i wanted to show you these goelier pieces but i love how the jewelry pairs with this look and as I said, it's really difficult to see colour, but it's much creamier than the one I was wearing. So the white one that I was wearing before, great for cool tones. This one, much better for those kind of like warm, creamy, neutral colours. I think this is going to go a lot better with. So a perfect knit to add into my wardrobe for spring. Moving on to dresses. Now I know black is not exactly the most spring colour. However, it's the material that excited me about this dress. The most beautiful chiffron-y material. And I feel like you can't really see the dress well enough. So wait until I do the try-ons and you can see it in the mirror because this is just beautiful. It's timeless. It's classic. It's elegant. It's so understated. And it's the kind of piece that I can picture myself wearing again and again and again. It does does not date it does not go it does not date it does not go out of start a beautiful classic black dress is what everyone needs in their spring wardrobe this is very much like a daytime black dress which is what i love one thing that really excites me actually is the sleeves they're not full length which sometimes when you're a shorter girl full length sleeves like always come over your arms always looking a little bit like baggy these are really really lovely they're kind of like three quarter length sleeves which i find very demure very elegant and i just loved the style of this dress you can picture me wearing this all throughout spring summer this is literally what i live and die in in april and may oh my goodness me hello waist i mean look how beautiful this dress is this is just the epitome of a classic timeless spring dress and it has pockets which i always feel like takes a dress from anything out of 10 to a 10 out of 10 no matter what but it's the most beautiful midi length which actually is a midi on me often when i shop midis they're more of like a mid axis they kind of come down to my ankle whereas the length of this is beautiful i've just started up with my favorite pair of ballet flats you'll have seen these time and time again but my vivaya ballet flats oh my goodness me they are just my favorites they look very chanel-esque but a little trick if you're a shorter girl because they've got more of a pointed toe i find them so much more elongating on your legs looking at my legs now wowie do i need to fake tan really need to get some color on those legs because they're practically the same color as the ballet flats but we're just going to bypass that because the dress itself is just so gorgeous the structure of it is stunning and again the jewelry pairs so beautifully with it i love the fact that you can adjust the length of the necklace because it sits so well with so many different necklines i think that's so so lovely and the way this just cinches in i've literally tied it at the back so you can have it as loose or as tight as you want depending on the kind of silhouette that you want to give yourself it's very much giving me 1950s silhouette in a more kind of like modern way which is what i think i love about this dress so this is the kind of thing i can definitely picture myself wearing all throughout spring i think this is just such a timeless and classic dress i am absolutely in love and i think we can all agree that this is just the most beautiful timeless and classic dress that we have ever laid our eyes on this is seriously giving me chanel vibes i feel like this is a perfect office wear dress actually i always get questions about workwear about office attire obviously i haven't worked in an office for six years five years maybe potentially so i feel like i'm a little bit outdated with regards to my advice but this is the exact kind of thing that i used to wear to the office a cute little pair of pumps sling your bag over your shoulders maybe chuck out a cardigan over the top to keep you warm if your office is air gone i was always freezing in the spring summer because offices have such strong air conditioning i used to always be so so cold so i'd literally have like my office cardigan that i would keep on at the back of my chair but this is just so beautiful it's actually like a knitted fabric which i really really love again it's keep you warm but it still has this like spring vibes my favorite thing about this dress is the pearl detangling i mean look at those pearl buttons there how beautiful is that and i love the fact that it has these beautiful kind of like silky sleeves it makes it so much less autumn winter i feel like adding the white to the sleeves really brings it into the spring at summer season and i can totally picture myself wearing this so so much i just think it's like a perfect meetings dress a perfect going into london dress it's so comfortable and easy yet looks so chanel who chanel who i mean look at this 
dress i'm in love with the length of this as well i feel like it's supposed to be more of a mini and it probably will be on most people for me it just hits just below the knee which i find very flattering especially with a little pair of ballet flats i feel like this would also go really well with a little pair of slides like some black sandals for summer but how beautiful is this dress as i said perfect for workwear the sleeves are just everything for me and the button details i mean those pearl details again work so well the mother of pearl on the necklace what i really love about these as well is that even though it's gold and this is more kind of like silvery in its undertones they pair so well together because it's such a beautiful like lightweight gold it's not too yellowy which i really really love and just the shape of this dress the silhouette is absolutely beautiful i mean this dress looks a million dollars and i could not be more obsessed and then the last thing I picked up is actually a little set. Now this is for my super elegant girlies that just really want something demure, something classic, something feminine for spring. It's some of the most beautiful set from Goelier. I've got this tall skirt with this really cute little kind of like ribbed jumper. This has got the most beautiful asymmetric detailing, which I feel like you'll be able to see so well when I try it on and style it up. Obviously you can mix and match these pieces, but style together just looks so beautiful i really love them for more kind of like an elegant demure style i feel like they look so elevated for like lunches with the girls going shopping this is such a beautiful outfit and i definitely think i'm going to get a lot of wear out of this skirt start up with beautiful shirts start up with beautiful tops with ballet flats with heels these are just such cute pieces and I love the fact that it came in a set. I just thought that was so, so lovely. So also adding those two pieces into my spring wardrobe. I think it's safe to say I've saved one of the best looks till last. This is a bit of an underdog for me. I wasn't quite sure how it was going to kind of sit and fit, but I am in love i love this asymmetric detail to the jumper the way that it comes over the skirt i think is so so flattering and the skirt itself is just beautiful as i said i feel like i'm gonna get so much wear out of this skirt but i love the fact that you can shop this as a set that they come together i think it's such a beautiful knit that's a great transitional knit piece can be worn with skirts can be worn with trousers i think it's such a like unique and interesting item so yeah i definitely think it's safe to say i've saved one of the best looks till last because how fun is this so it's a little while later now i've just done a quick little outfit change because i'm actually heading out for dinner tonight with a friend which i'm really really looking forward to we are going to the white horse which is a beautiful little pub in romsey which is like a neighboring village to where we are in the new forest which is funny actually because i did have a lot of questions about whether we would be moving to romsey when i did announce the move I had quite a few people message me because you know how much i love romsey it is the cutest quaintest little village here in hampshire but it's not quite in the new forest and that was one of alex and i's i don't want to say caveats but kind of one of the um priority lists is that we wanted to stay in the new forest because we do just absolutely love it here but i love going to visit romsey and i've got a few friends that live there so i'm actually going to meet up with a friend there which i'm really looking forward to we're going to the white horse which is such a beautiful pub it also does i say it's more than a pub it's like a coach house kind of in style which is really really nice so in the evening they do really nice food during the day you can do like afternoon tea there brunches there it is lovely i'd love to stay over one night actually i think that would be really really cute but quick little spritz of perfume i'm gonna go for my molten brown i am loving the flora luminaire perfume at the moment it's just so oh it's just so spring-like and it's such a beautiful scent for a kind of more evening look if you're wanting like something really springy but still a little bit more kind of like rich and deep i've also just lengthened the necklace a little bit just because i feel like the neckline on this dress let me show you the full outfit actually um because i am kind of loving it it's very easy and simple but a bit more of like an evening look so i've actually styled up the new little goelier cardigan because this is the kind of way that i would like to style it for more of like an evening look i've gone for one of my favorite little new look jumper dresses which are so comfy and so perfect if you're going out for dinner because because they stretch like nobody's business so you can have all the food you want i am very hungry tonight so i think a big meal is on the cards um and of course pudding you know when they always bring over the pudding menu they're like uh any puddings my ladies i'm like obviously we will always have room for pudding but vivaya boots which i absolutely love they're super super comfy and easy to wear um 
new look dress, a little Gwellier cardigan, and as I said, I've lengthened the necklace because I just feel like with the neckline of this being a bit more crew neck than it is roll neck, it just needed that little bit of elongation, which is what I love about the jewellery. It's just the fact that you can lengthen the necklace, change it up, and I just feel like these pieces just style together so, so seamlessly. So bag-wise, I'm probably going to go with my little Mulberry Bayswater, and that is my look of the evening. Can you believe that it's almost six o'clock and it is still light? How exciting is that? Spring is well and truly on its way. But anyway, enough jibber jabbering. I'm gonna head off and go and have a lovely dinner with my friend. sunshine streaming in behind us it is feeling very spring-like this morning and i could not think of a better way to start my morning than with my morning cup of coffee and my blueberry and lemon bread this is the bread that i baked the other day and i'm not gonna lie to you it is very very bready i know that in that video i was like oh she says it's a breakfast food it's not it's more of a pudding it is more of a breakfast food. And as lovely as this would have been, it would have been a bit of an Easter treat, I would actually say that I think I'm gonna look for a new recipe that's more of like a cake or a loaf. Here in the UK, like a loaf cake is very sweet. It's very much like a pudding or a dessert. This doesn't feel that sweet. And I know I was talking about doing the conversions with the measurements, but with regards to like the sugar and with regards to the lemon, I don't really feel like I could have really got that wrong. It doesn't taste hugely lemony either. Both Alex and I were in agreement that it's nice, but it's just nice. It didn't really feel very special. So I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna try a new recipe. It was worth trying. And I'm really, really glad that I did because it's making a lovely breakfast food. Literally saying in that vlog, it's not breakfast food. And here I am with my morning cup of coffee, my blueberry and lemon loaf. But I want to make something a bit more cakey. And I think that would be a little bit more spring-like as well. But the perfect start to the morning after the loveliest evening last night. Dinner was so delicious at the White Horse. It is so, so lovely. They're really like cozy. You can just get all like snuggled up. I got fish and chips, which was delicious. And then we, in a, we, I got the fish and chips, which was delicious. And then we ended the night in the best way possible. I feel like you know you found a true friend. But at the end of the night, you're not like, oh, let's get a bottle of wine. Or, oh, let's have another drink instead. It's a cup of tea. You want a cup of tea? I want a cup of tea. Honestly, it's like the most British thing ever. We had the loveliest tea to end the night. I had an Earl Grey, and to me, an Earl Grey is such like evening tea. I loved it. In fact, actually, I was laughing the other day because I was watching my favourite. I escaped to the country, and I keep talking about it at the moment. Um, but I was watching I Escaped to the Country, and it just makes me laugh so much because obviously they sit down, they discuss what happened. Oh. My coffee machine's making a noise at me. They sit down and discuss what happened, whether they bought the house, whether they didn't, what happened, whether they got gazumped, some of the like housing situations fall through but every time they sit down they're like oh let's have a cup of tea you need to tell us a story about this house but not before we've had a cup of tea we need to sit down and talk about this over a cup of tea it's just the most british thing ever it always makes me laugh that being said i've already had my cup of tea for the morning and i'm moving on to my coffee now um but with this sunshine i'm really really hoping that this sunshine is here to stay because i have big plans for the weekend obviously it's easter weekend coming up for me you will have just had the Easter weekend. You'll be watching this on Easter Monday, um, I believe. You should be watching this on Easter Monday. Um, but Easter weekend is coming up for me and I'm really, really hoping to get a lot of gardening done because I know I've spoken about the garden a lot, but we have a lot of work to do. And actually, I have a new purchase. So I'm not gonna lie, I can't believe I've not had a chance to show you yet, but a very exciting new purchase that I cannot wait to pot out or plant out in the garden, in the borders. But I've been waiting because this weekend we really want to do like a big overhaul of the garden. This weekend I think it's gonna be one of those like get jobs done kind of a weekend. It's gonna be a lot of the less fun jobs, 
but a lot of reward things like regrouting the patty i've already pressure washed it it needs all like grouted and i can't i keep forgetting the name i feel like grout isn't the right word but everyone knows what i mean when i say grouting it regrouting through the tiles um it looks so much better now it's been pressure washed and we also want to kind of basically reborder the garden i feel like it's been left a little bit in disarray so we really want to like reborder it in fact oh my gosh let me show you this because this is hilarious <laughs> The other night, Alex and I sat down over dinner to basically discuss exactly what we wanted to do with the garden. And not just what we wanted to do with the garden, but what we wanted to do over the years. So like what we want to do this year versus next year versus the year after that. So we're well aware it's not going to happen all in one go. A garden is very much a process and it's something that I want to enjoy the process. So we were discussing just what we want to do this year to make the garden usable, to make the garden enjoyable. And um, it got to a point where we kept being like, oh yeah, like we were talking about things and explaining and be like, yeah, so you know that border there and you know this bit there and like, oh yeah, how that around and it got to a point where we were both getting so confused with each other alex was like right grab me a notebook and literally did this very professional sketch of the garden of how it is currently looking and what we want to do with it so this is the card garden basically how it is currently and it's got very much this like squiggly border in fact it's not even as squiggly as that it's like really squiggly it's almost like an s shape and then it kind of curves around which we're wanting to kind of like straighten out we're wanting to make it a bit more elongated because i think that will lengthen the garden how it looks we just wanted to make it really herbaceous so this was our really professional sketch that we did the other night of what we want to do in the garden so fingers crossed the weather is nice this weekend because i can't grout unless it's dry so if we could all i mean i know it's past the time now but we're all going to manifest a lovely sunny easter weekend so i can do my gardening i can do my grouting and then hopefully pot out my new hydrangea this is a strong annabelle which in my opinion is just the most beautiful hydrangea ever lady c does in fact have one in her garden which actually i bought for her um and she always just admires it so so much throughout summer it's something i've always wanted to have but to like obviously plant out in a border because i just think they are the most beautiful thing ever i've got lots of hydrangeas in like pots and things like that but having one in your own border is just something really really special i've also been watching loads of gardening videos on instagram and what i would love to do is plant the hydrangea with what's it called companion planting with alliums because then in the spring you get the pop of purple from the alliums and then in the summer Get the beautiful white from the hydrangea i think that's just gonna look magical obviously the border is gonna be wild and wonderful because that is just my favorite thing to do whenever it comes to anything gardening anything floral arrangements i just think the more wilds the better but i cannot wait to get planting there i'm so excited to have finally found my own hydrangeas that i can plant out in the garden and i just can't wait to get going with it so keep your fingers and toes crossed for me this weekend hopefully it is a big weekend of gardening ahead of us You'll probably be able to see that i have the beautiful linger earrings in again today because i am just obsessed with them i had them in all day yesterday and i literally didn't feel them which is a big problem i do have with a lot of like big statement jewelry it's by the end of the day you're ready to like rip them out of your ears i don't feel like that at all which i've just got them on with my little ralphie cable knit really bringing in the spring vibes despite the fact that i'm still needing to wear knitwear i want it to be much lighter much brighter a little bit more kind of seasonal and then i've just paired the ring with a bracelet i already owned actually which i do love how the pearl kind of pairs together with the mother of pearl from the jewelry but wearing them again today because i am just obsessed and honestly to be able to get the discount code with the linger is so so exciting because they never normally offer this so definitely make the most of the discount with them because i am just obsessed i think i might even actually might even be a bit cheeky and log onto the website and use the discount code myself because they just have so many gorgeous pieces on their website that i would love to add into my spring summer jewelry stash i feel like i am chasing the sun today because if i stay in the sunshine it will stay for me that is the logic that i have in my head what is that behind me <sighs> that is alexander james's pajamas please tell me that i'm not the only one that has to deal with this from their partner i feel like it's i hate to stereotype a very male thing to do but if you give them somewhere to put things they will always leave it beside the thing that they're supposed to put it on he has a chair right here which i literally call his dumping chair which is for pajamas it's for clothes that like aren't clean enough to go back in the wardrobe but they're too, too clean to be washed like it's for him just to like chuck things on and be messy with and you can't really see it like as you walk into the room that's why i have the chair because it's got the back it hides the clothes you can't really see them so it doesn't look messy does he leave it on the chair no he leaves it beside the chair please tell me i'm not the only one that has to deal with that from their partner it would make me feel 
a hell of a lot better. But the reason why I've come upstairs to our beautiful bedroom, which is just being flooded with sunlight at the moment, is because I have had a very exciting delivery arrive. Very, very kind PR parcel that I wanted to unbox with you guys from NARS. This is just a few top-ups of some of my favourites from NARS that I'm so excited to add back into my beauty routine. And I feel like especially as we're coming into the new season, coming into spring, there is no better time than to update what's in your makeup bag. I don't know about you, but I feel like because I don't wear a huge amount of makeup, it takes me a while to like swap things over. So sometimes I almost need like a reason to swap things over. I'm like, okay, new season, we need some new products. Okay, we're going into a new month, we need to switch up what I've got in here. So I've got some lovely NARS products that I already love and use to add back into my beauty routine, to add back into my makeup bag. First of all, it's the Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. Now, if you're looking for a beautiful spring summer tinted moisturizer, look no further, this is literally one of my favorites. I believe this has an SPF, yes, SPF 30, which is something that I really need to start adding back into my routine. I've been really, really lazy recently, I'm not gonna lie, over winter, I get so bad with keeping up with my SPF. And as someone who's in their 20s, the main thing that I can do for my skin is prevention with regards to wrinkles, with regards to signs of aging, as much as I'm like, it's probably easy to say as a 20 year old, I'm not scared to show signs of aging. I feel like it's a beautiful thing and I feel like it's a privilege to show those signs, but at the same time, if I can prevent like early signs, if I can prevent it from being like ever so harsh, I'm gonna do that. So I am in the shade Mykonos, which is very much my no fake tan shade. I'm really enjoying not being fake tan. It wasn't until I did the haul yesterday with the Guerlier pieces that I started wearing like the skirts. I was like, oh, maybe I do need a bit of fake tan, but especially on like my face and my arms and my upper part of the body, I'm quite enjoying not being fake tanned. But anyway, shade Mykonos, which is a very pale girl shade, but I love applying this with my fingers. You can literally just rub it in so naturally or use a brush. It is the most beautiful. Let me show you it actually out of the packaging because it is just the most beautiful tinted moisturizer. I'm not even gonna call it a foundation because it is so lightweight. It does literally just feel like a moisturization on your face with just a tiny little hint of color. So absolutely obsessed with that. Cannot wait to add that back into my routine. We then have the NARS Radiance Primer. Again, I didn't realize this was an SPF. I've used this before and this is a lovely one, especially in the summer, in spring, summer, as soon as the weather starts to warm up a little bit. Can you hear the birds up? It's just my favorite thing about living here. Just occasionally you just hear these little like tweets, little coos, little flutters. I love it. Um, but yes, the Radiance Primer is a great one if in spring summer you do get a little bit sweaty. One of the hardest parts about living in the UK, and I feel like we have officially hit that season now, and anyone from the UK can probably agree with me on this. In the morning, it feels like winter. By the afternoon, it feels like summer. By the evening, it feels like winter again. So you kind of need to layer up throughout the day and often we'll get it wrong. So like you'll wear something that's actually quite cozy by the afternoon, so this is a great one to keep your makeup in place and make sure that it doesn't slip down your face um, We then have the smudge proof eyeshadow base Which is another one that is just so good whenever it comes to keeping your makeup in place If you're looking if you wear a lot of eye makeup This is what you need in your collection if you do like me you do like a little wing liner This is so so fab but actually I know some people that will apply this under their eyes to stop their concealer from smudging it is amazing, so absolutely love that. And then lastly, my favorite, which I might actually put on now, the Afterglow Since Your Lip Shine Lipstick in the shade Orgasm. Of course, literally my favorite shade. It's just such a perfect, like, nudie color, but the packaging, oh, I just love it so, so much. It's so beautiful, and it really is such a perfect, like, your lips, but better color and it feels more like a lip balm than a lipstick i kind of feel like i've really stayed away from lipsticks in the last two three years i don't really reach for them as much i much prefer like more of a lip balm something that feels really moisturizing something that's enjoyable to wear and this is exactly that and especially the shade i always get so many compliments whenever i wear this and i run out so i'm very excited to have this back in my makeup bag you can expect to see this on my lips pretty much every day going forward from here on out. So some lovely gifts from NARS to top up my makeup bag to add back into my routine. I feel like this has been like the official getting ready for spring video. New in spring jewelry, new in spring fashion, new in spring beauty. We're even gonna get started on garden this weekend. So I think I'm gonna leave this vlog here actually because there has been a lot to show you in this video. I hope you did enjoy it. seeing all of the new in pieces and don't forget to use my discount code at Alinea. All will be linked down below in at the description box as you can tell i'm well and truly obsessed with their jewelry so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you had the loveliest easter weekend and i will see you on thursday for the next one
Bye.